anyways this chapter was a little bit more exciting as it is confirmed yes Luthi is in one of after all a strange place but we have run into an old adversary again and just like no one's surprise he seems to have joined the beast pirates the question is has he joined because of cowardice or has he joined just because of like Capone intended to do find a way to kill Kaido if you ask me I hope he joined out of cowardice because quite frankly that guy pisses me off and I really wish him to be defeated I mean it would make sense if he joined uh, Kaido out of cowardice the guy believes in fate and destiny and uh, everyone says if you win one on one then you cannot win against Kaido. So yes, this is the One Piece chapter 911 and I am the Angry Me Fan the Despair Reviewer. First of all, the two uh, creatures uh, begins to fight each other as Luffy uh, thinks back on what has happened. And that was uh, Sanji volunteered to take them all to land but of course refused to take the guys. But uh, when Luffy uh, said that he could be a boing, you know, border like that, then uh, I guess he agreed. As uh, Luffy prepared to say, uh, leave the Sunny, who by the way made a s shocking face, the octopus grabbed onto him and eventually landed on the beach. But he has lost the the Viver card, that I guess is the Viver card he used to reunite with his friends. And then suddenly, uh, a mysterious creature that actually looks like a dinosaur and a ostrich into one, or maybe it's better to say it looks like a dinosaur. A Velociraptor, maybe, uh, has, is escorting someone in a bag. Well, not escorting. Is has captured someone in a bag, and uh, and they mentions that they have captured someone, and they're mentioning they're gonna sell this person to the red light district, uh, and, and call the Kusuki clan evil. Uh, but then suddenly they see a ship. Um, in the beast and apparently the the baboon is fighting a creature called a komamnu a lion dog statue that usually goes to Japanese Shido shrines and that's what it was uh, so uh, they are contacted someone called headliner and mentions that uh, a ship has entered the, th the thing illegally these are Kaido's men who rides in as soon as they see uh, Luffy, they intend to make him into a workforce. This seems to imply that Kaido hasn't given up on his desire for uh, the artificial devil fruits yet. Because apparently he has a slave ring here. But then, um, as soon as he tries to fire, Luffy immediately smacks the guy aside. And then defeats the creature with just one red hark. Although technically it doesn't really look like he used the red hark. But I have a feeling that after his fight against uh, Katakuri, Luffy has become even stronger. Then the baboon tries to fight Luffy, but of course Luffy tames him with just one single look of uh, his Awushukunaki. And finally the mysterious person that was captured was a young girl who defeats uh, the guy with a bat. She surrenders to Luffy, but as soon as Luffy tells her that she is not, no, that he is not gonna hurt her, it's uh, all good. The name of this young girl is Otama, and apparently she talks in an old Tohaku dialect, although I don't know why I do that. And she is revealed to be a devil fruit user. I have to say, though, I'm a little bit disappointed that so many, that sometimes these abilities have to be devil fruit. Once again, a weird devil fruit ability. Apparently she can create dumplings uh, out of her cheeks. She tries to feed it to the baboon. And once she, he, it eats it, it immediately befriends the young girl who is uh, who reveals to uh, Luffy who she immediately begins to call Aniki. I wonder though what kind of dialect she is talking in. Uh, that uh, Luffy has ended up in none other than the Kuri district. Do you all remember who ruled Kuri? <laughs> and do you all remember who was born in Kuri? The plot thickens. So either way, uh, apparently Otama was gonna go in the district to buy something, but uh, her belongings were taken, so she actually screamed to the thugs that the Kusuki family will come back. And apparently mentioning the Kusuki family is a crime in Wano, given to the fact that uh, Shogun Oru Orochi and Kaido killed the Daimo, who, uh, well, you know what, it's not surprising of that one. 
So she escorts uh, him as the sh and hides the ship in a valley, as she mentions that uh, there are pirates she hate and pirates she like. So she likes Luffy, and uh, she and her master are the only one who lives here. Before they were a lot of people. So she serves Luffy some rice, and she and he eats it up pretty quickly. But of course, it's not enough. But then suddenly he is attacked by a young man. No, not a young man. By a um, tall man. Dressed just like a Tengu. It's unknown exactly if this is just accessories or if he really is a Tengu. I mean, given the fact that Devil Fruit can explain many things, who knows. But he appears to wield a Tengu mask. The wings, though, that's the only thing I cannot uh, explain. Either that is an ability or that's just fashionist. And the old man immediately attacks Luffy when he sees that the man, that Luffy has eaten the rice. Because it turns out Otama, Otama actually was gonna uh, uh, I was actually turning eight and this was supposed to be our food because they don't have any food nowadays I guess that's because of the Kaido pirates so uh, so she this was gonna be her food to eat however given to the fact that uh, Luffy saved her she was kind enough to give Luffy that and um, as you know and Luffy may be a glutton and a little bit of a rude guy when it comes to eating. But I think even he is shocked when he sees that. So suddenly Otama comes back and says to, to her master to forgive him. But then suddenly her she begins to cough as she has to drink some water. And it turns out it's poisonous. So, um, because the river is contaminated by Kaido's factories. Uh, so... And the, the master admits to Luffy that uh, she could have lived everywhere, everywhere, but she has been waiting for someone here. She, uh, someone she promised will come back. However, that person was none other than a pirate named Ace. And as we all remember, Ace will not come back. Given to the fact that Whitebeard was killed in the same war, it's very unlikely that most people of Wano actually do know what happened to Kai no Whitebeard maybe they do know but maybe Otama do not know what happened to Ace of course the connection just got even more interesting because before Otama is Luffy Otama is hungry and she's now is sick well Luffy has to find Sanji and Chopper immediately only they can save her and so the guy, the guy who they call Headliner appears. And who is this guy? Well, the one I talked in the beginning of. None other than Basil Hawkins. As I said before, it's not that surprising that Basil Hawkins has joined the Beast Pirates. But as I said in the beginning, has he joined? Because he has a plan just like... Ca no, sorry. Capone... Or has he joined simply because he considered that destiny and it was better? Now Kaido has three gen worst generation forces on his place. I was really hoping X Drake will make a heel face turn, but we sh but I guess I shouldn't hold my breath. So, yeah. It makes sense though that Kid is the only one that refused. After all, Kid is a... I wouldn't say he's like Luffy, no, he's far from Luffy, but he is more challenging for authority. Apu is a survivor and a troller, so of course he would join. And as I said before, Basil Hawkins believes in fate, and everyone believes that you cannot oppose Kaido, so it will make sense for him to join. But again, we shouldn't, uh, we should wait until we have more evidence on the worst generations. Because if there's anything we have learned from Capone, is that um, the, the worst generations are people that challenges the Junko. So who knows? But I really hope Apu and um, Basil Hawkins are enemies. I mean, are still gonna be enemies to Luffy. Because quite frankly, they piss me off. But who knows? Luffy, we're gonna need every help. So yeah, we have met. This chapter was a little more exciting than last week's. So now, and it turns out that uh, uh, everything in Kuri is. Um, it's forbidden to mention the Kusuki family, and a lot of people have probably become slaves to Kaido's factories. Now, people, if you don't believe that Kaido will be defeated this arc, then you are slowly mistaken. It's just been two chapters of the, no, maybe three, 
of one Okuri. And immediately I realized that Kaido cannot be forgiven. He must be defeated. He has even built factories to destroy, that destroys the, well, the environment of everything here. So yeah, Utama, a young girl who wants to become a Kanuchi with a dumpling devil fruit. A young man dressed, no, an old man dressed like a Tengu. Basil Hawkins has joined the Beast Pirates and Weird Nature. Now is the question though. What awaits us next? And what happens to Sanji and co? Only Sanji and Shoppers can save Otama now. But you give me a false if you have any. <laughs>